As we have reported to you, 2017 was another violent year in Louisville, and so was 2016. And it has been a time of awakening for a group of four local musicians. They created a music video that puts a face on the victims of violence and their families. The group there is Woke, and that song was written two decades ago in memory of a band member's older brother who was killed, but it rings true still today. And we want to let you know who the musicians are. They're Lamont Connor, James Crawford. We also have Dewan Rainey and Darius Towns. They're working, by the way, with Louisville music producer Gil Holland, who couldn't be here this afternoon. And joining me now is James Crawford. James, you lost your brother 20 years ago. Tell, tell me what happened there. Uh, this sort of the impetus behind this video we're going to see tonight at 6. Right. Uh, my brother was murdered. He was uh, murdered in his house in you know, uh, 95. I think it was a robbery. And, um, you know, it was a tragic thing that happened. And uh, he was murdered. Um, his daughter was there. And uh, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. So still kind of still kind of unsolved a little bit so now you see this music video play out what's running through your mind as you watch it uh it makes me happy though that we're keeping this uh, memory alive it started with him you know what I'm saying we all wrote the song and we was all close to my brother so it was really de deep for us to do it for him so and we were saying that happened 20 years ago how much it still resonates to this day in case people don't know it woke stands for what with you all working on keeping equality and one thing that is so important to you that you all hope that this is a message of healing, gentlemen? Absolutely. The reason we did the video was to bring a bit of healing to, to our community. Uh, we've had several families that have been affected by senseless acts of violence. And our goal as members of the music community is to give them a gift, a gift that uh, uh, hopefully brings uh, just a bit of healing for a day. You know, we can't bring healing for a lifetime because they'll struggle with that loss uh, forever. But uh, again, I say, as members of the music community, we want to say, hey, there's a group of men here in Louisville. We don't know you, but we care about you. Only have just a few seconds left. What it means to you two gentlemen in the middle personally? For me, it, it was, like I said, I knew uh, Dion. He was a dear friend of mine. So for me, it's a personal thing. It's uh, healing even for myself as well as uh, our message to the young kids out there, and, or anyone. And our message is uh, that uh, we want to let them see and get a vision of uh, our video. Maybe they can think about that before they do something. There we go. And your final thoughts? Well, this thing has been going on for a long time, we know. <clears throat> As y'all see, y'all see the video that's coming, there's plenty of folks that we all connected to in this video. We have um, my cousin that was killed back in 20 years ago, too. His name was Michael Hayes, and he was killed in things. And his daughter's in the video. We have uh, Jocene. He's in the video too, representing for Donnie McFly for the rap hip hop community. So we kind of tried to put enough enough of the folks that, that you know mourning families and stuff in the, in the video. But <clears throat> we'll see how y'all think about it. It's you just, get the feel. You sure do. We want to thank you all for coming. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to debut the video coming up right here, a special premiere. Uh, the video about five minutes long, and you'll see it tonight on WHAS 11 News at six. Yeah.